do you enjoy being the centre of attention, that, that star quality, if you like? I'd be, I'd be uh, really misleading if I said I don't enjoy it at all. Of course there are times you enjoy it, but there are times when you wish to goodness you could get away from it because it's uh, ever-present. And uh, uh, I always say when, when we've been pestered a fair bit, well, don't worry about it. Let's worry when they don't acknowledge us. Um, but nevertheless, it is lovely to just shut that door and get in, into your house with Jill and know you're by yourself because you do need time by yourself. Otherwise, you get quite bonkers in this job. Well, how do you get pestered? Do you get sick of being recognised, for instance? Oh, no. No, I like being recognised. No, I like, a, I like somebody to come up and say, hello, nifty, hello, Niv. Uh, but what, a, what can be troublesome is... Uh, if uh, you're at a movie or the theatre or some uh, place where you, you're trying to catch a couple of hours of recreation and uh, someone wants to uh, belt your ear about the deficiencies of the sewerage outfall system, um, especially the time when you've, when you've really uh, set your sights above it. Do they abuse you? No, very rarely, actually. Um, they'll abuse you in uh, crowd situations uh, when emotions are running high. And uh, that's part of the game. If you can't cop a bit of abuse, my advice to aspiring politicians, don't go into politics. If you worry easily, don't go into politics. If uh, you don't like uh, uh, being pushed uh, backwards before you uh, run forwards, don't go into politics. And if you don't like uh, a situation where you have to uh, treat most people's uh, uh, word with uh, some degree of, uh, if not suspicion, uh, reservation, don't go into politics. Now, because it's a, it's a game of, uh, of uh, give, take, shove, push, uh, compromise, etc. And, uh, uh, and I just uh, think it's, uh, it's just about one of the greatest callings uh, you, can, you can enter if you're prepared to take the rough with the smooth. And I think I'm fairly qualified to talk about the rough. <laughs> centre stage of the New South Wales Parliament. <laughs> Neville Rand has been doing this for nine years, a turn of phrase that could draw blood. But this is the first time his theatrical style in the Bedford of Parliament has been televised. The leader of the opposition has been prepared to use the higher school certificate of students in nearly a decade, Neville Rand has told a succession of Liberal leaders exactly what he thinks of them. Nick Greiner is the only opposition leader to survive the blowtorch. The contest is far more even now. That wasn't the case back in the early days when the Rand juggernaut started to roll. Rand's ride to power began years earlier as a member of the upper house. But even the old Labour cronies who then occupied that chamber thought of the new boy as a bit of a cream puff. I said, now look, let's put it on the line. I've just been elected. And there's a seat for the leader, and there's a seat for the deputy leader. If I'm the deputy leader. If anyone's sitting in my seat, I'll pick him up bodily and throw him out. And uh, the bluff worked, and the seat was empty when I went in. By the end of 1973, there was no mistaking his ultimate ambition. As you all know, there's been a good deal of speculation. There's been a lot of rumour and counter-rumour, and I frankly think that in all the circumstances, it's in the best interests of the Labor Party if I put an end to those rumours as far as I'm concerned, here and now. It's my intention, when the ballot's held, to be a candidate in that ballot. Do you reckon the opposition days were more fun? No. No. There's nothing funny about opposition.
position. 